it's really all about how do I stay focused? How do I stay committed and on mission in a world that feels like, man, we're just standing on shifting grounds all the time, right? Whether that's politically, whether that's with the economy, whether that's what, the, what you're consuming with news and all those sorts of things, those things affect us as small business owners. Hey, look, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a particular program that is currently changing the way I do business, period, all right? But listen, I have a really exclusive offer that is just for you, just for this channel, and you're gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to find out more, all right? Learn what program I'm talking about, as well as how to use this code that is gonna save you a lot of money, but more importantly, it's gonna save you a lot of time, and we all know that time is money in our worlds as entrepreneurs and business owners. So stick around, and let's jump into the video. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Pete Perspective. My name is Pete and if you're here for the very first time, I just wanna say welcome to you. Uh, I got three subscribers this week, y'all. Three subscribers and that's a big deal for me, all right? That's a freaking big deal. I'm gonna celebrate every single subscriber uh, because as long as I can at least, uh, because it matters, right? You guys have a story. You guys have time that you're investing in watching this video and that means the world to me so thank you if you are one of those three people man comment down below let me know who you are introduce yourself I would love to connect with you and for everybody else just like the video subscribe comment anything helps me beat the algorithm and maybe someone else will be exposed to the video so thank you so much for just being engaged here it means everything now today I want to share with you guys a quick little sort of philosophy maybe an ideology that I think is going to encourage you if you're a creative if you're an entrepreneur if you are a leader if you're you know everybody from a c-suite position to a beginner who's just getting started right entry level position this is something that is going to encourage you because it's really all about how do I stay focused how do I stay committed and on mission in a world that feels like, man, we're just standing on shifting grounds all the time, right? Whether that's politically, whether that's with the economy, whether that's what, the, what you're consuming with news and all those sorts of things, those things affect us as small business owners and leaders and creatives. And so that, that phrase, that ideology is really, really simple and it's this, marry the mission and date the model. All right, marry the mission and date the model. Now. When you're married, there is a huge commitment there. There is two people becoming one. There is a weightiness to a marriage versus dating. That is, you are kind of courting and trying to figure out, hey, is this somebody that I can spend the rest of my life with, right? And so it's not to say that it's less serious. It's not to say that you can just do whatever you want, but it is to say that if something goes south or that person ends up not being a great fit for you, it's like, okay, well, there's someone else out there. There is someone else out there. And that's the difference of marrying the mission versus dating the model. Now, I've heard that phrase said in a lot of different ways. I've heard it said, uh, said as, you know, marry the mission and date the method. I've heard it said as marry the mission and date the strategy. I've heard it said as like just so many different ways. But the common thread in all of it is that you are marrying the mission. You are marrying the mission and the two become one. You are becoming one with your mission. Now, when I say your mission, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the, the mission statement -y terms or understanding that we typically know it to be, right? Like a business has a mission statement, that's great. You could have a mission statement for your season at your entry level position, right? So you're just starting your first design job and I was there. Um, and you can say, hey, as long as uh, you know God has me in this season of my life and that I'm gonna be here in this company, here are the things that I wanna do. So I wanna make their social media better. I want to add a video element to the company, right? Like maybe you went to school for videography and you just got hired as a designer, but you're hoping that you can talk to the boss and add in some, some video content for social and TikTok, and that's something that you wanna do. And, and whatever the other third thing is, right? You can now use that as your North Star, that little mini mission, you can use that as your North Star when people come asking for favors, when people come saying like, hey, can you help me with this or that? You can say, hey, does that align with what I'm trying to accomplish here and the value that I'm trying to add here? I, I think it's beneficial to have a mission statement for your life, like, right? Like that would be amazing to say, here's my mission as a person and in life, whenever things come my way, I know, hey, that's my North Star. I'm here to serve 
underprivileged people of color, right? Like that's a very specific mission. Whatever your mission is, you can use that. So then when people say, you know, hey, can you help me with this? It's like, man, does that align with my mission? And then you get to decide. It's not that you could just say no to everything that doesn't align with your mission because you'd probably be a jerk. But um, yeah, you can use that as a compass. And the same is true at work. I realize, hey, you have a boss. Sometimes you got to get into the trenches and they're like, hey, you need this done by tomorrow. And it doesn't align with your mission, your mini mission. And you just got to get it done, right? We got to get it done. We work hard. That's what this community is. We work hard. We get things done. We're not afraid to get our hands dirty and get into the trenches and love it, right? Love the process. Love the, the journey because there's the destination isn't it. It's the journey. The journey is what makes you who you are. And so marrying the mission and dating the model just gives us freedom to see and have clarity of mind and heart. And it's been helpful for me as a business owner, for even building Pete Design Company, which is very young in the grand scheme of things. But you know, my, my, my mission statement is really to help businesses uh, just walk the line of the foundation of brand strategy and all that that means and all that just having a solid foundation and then building a beautiful brand identity on top of that so that ultimately all in all they can have a really great brand experience there's continuity somebody interacts with their brand and says man this company knows why they're here but they're also telling really powerful and compelling stories with their brand identity and so that just really builds trust because it's, co it's continuity, it's consistency. And that's what attracts us as humans. We are attracted to integrity. We are attracted to people doing what they say they're gonna do, right? That's just something that is attractive, I think, to every human being intuitively and naturally. We date the method because the method can change, right? I, if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that I try so many things. I try, I'm on YouTube right now. Um, I tried reels. I posted my first freaking reel this week, which is a lot of fun actually. But you have to be willing to tr you know, change the method. You're dating it, so there's no real connection. Let me just try this. Let me, let me fail fast. If, if I'm gonna fail anyway, let me fail fast. And don't be afraid of what people think, man. Like, do not be afraid of what somebody's gonna say. Oh, he's trying that. Oh, he's trying to do YouTube. Oh, who does he think he is? He's not, a, he's not an expert. Well, it's like, well, I made it this far. And, and so the same is true of you. You have something to offer. You have expertise to offer. And so how you get to your mission, man, try different things. Fail fast and, and keep moving forward. I'm here for, that's what this community is all about. It's all about trying new things, building each other up, and, and if you know a creative that's going through it right now, reach out to them, send them a voice memo, say, hey, you can do this, I'm thinking of you, I'm praying for you, whatever it is, and, and just build on that. But the method, the strategy, the means of accomplishing that, that mission can always change. We should always be open and holding those things with open hands. What we don't hold with open hands is our why, is our mission, is why we're here. That's what we hold with close hands, it's called conviction. And when we're, when we're convicted, we say, hey, that doesn't align with my best interests. And so I need to say no to that, but you know, just don't, don't be a jerk about it. I'm getting pumped up over here. It was really quick. I hope it encourages you as a leader, as an entrepreneur, that you can truly marry the mission and date the model. The model can change. The model is always shifting. You can date that, but marry your mission. As always, you, you, I'm talking to you. You have a purpose and a perspective unlike the world has ever seen. Seriously, you do. And use that to your advantage. Use that to, to be a light in other people's lives and just keep doing what you do, all right? This was a quick one. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And hey, I don't know if you knew this already, but I've actually been partnering with HoneyBook and HoneyBook has offered me a specific code that I'm gonna link down in the description below. But if you're interested in client management, if you're interested in a way for you to stay organized with your clientele and send emails and brochures and invoices and proposals and time tracking and all of the things in one place rather than having 10 different like apps, HoneyBook is it, that's the way to go. I have a specific 50% off code for you for your first year, 50% off. That's such a small amount of money for so much value. So if you use that code down below, you will get 50% off for the first year and I would appreciate it because it helps me out too. So let's help each other win, all right? Hey, I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for being here, peace.
thank you for sticking around, liking this video, commenting, subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. Catch me on some of the other social platforms. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, at Pete underscore underscore Rodriguez. You could also find me on Dribble, Behance, and of course my website. And I just want you to know your perspective matters. This is our community. It's you and I. We're in it together, all right? I'll see you guys next time.